See, because yoga is not an exercise form, it has other dimensions to it. Teaching it as a compulsory process in the school has its limitations. It may... you may reduce yoga into a gymnastic process which will be a severe... it's a crime to do that. But there is something called as upa yoga, that means sub-yoga or useful processes of doing things which has no spiritual dimension attached to it. If you do upa yoga or angamardana systems of yoga, fitness is assured, you will not need any equipment, all you need is six by six floor and you will be super fit and you can build your muscle, everything. Only thing is, you won't become like this. A whole lot of people have become like this, they think they're fit, I think they're in a straight jacket. It's not just strength, it's not just the bulge of your muscle. The flexibility of your body is as important for proper functioning of the system. In yoga, we are not just looking at the muscular strength and other structure alone. The, the organ health is very important. So the system is evolved so that there is organ health. Now you got this, your liver is not working properly, what's the use? Uh, this... this whole thing, I always wonder, <laughs> have you seen people who've built muscle, they did a lot of it? What's the point of that? It's very important the body is flexible and usable. If it's just about showing rocks, you can wear pads and show it to people 